Hey guys, I just bought some cartridge emulators for my new DR650 that I got. And I just wanted to make a quick video kind of explaining in detail what these things do. I There's really not a lot of information out there for these. And especially for the DR650. These are uh, pretty nifty little devices, honestly. Um, really... Like for how simple they are and what they do, they're pretty amazing. And really the only channel that I found that has a decent install video is Biker Bits on YouTube. Biker Bits did a great job going through the step-by-step -step installation, but missing probably one of the most crucial points of this install. He didn't drill holes in his dampening rod. So basically the importance of that is to basically take all of the valving properties away from the dampening rod and bring them into this. And the reason why these are so special is because they're very tunable. So basically you're just allowing oil to freely flow through the dampening rod so it can be valved with this device right here. See, the problem with the other solutions, besides the plex valve, because it basically gives you like a custom shim stack, as is, the problem with the cogents, they tell you to go to 5 weight, right? So, that's great. It's going to be great for your compression valving, but the only way to control your rebound valving is going to be with the oil weight. And... That's what this device really allows for, because those cogent DDCs, those drop-in cartridges that they make, they're not made for the 15 weight or the 20 weight, 30 weight oil, depending, because I'm 290 pounds. I'm a really big guy, six foot eight, really big guy. So I went with these because I not only wanted to improve my compression valving, but I also wanted to in improve my rebound valving as well. And this solution takes that into account. And that's why I went with this over anything else. The reason why I didn't go with the Plex valves, which is another great option in my opinion, is because this is a solution that's in my country, mainly. Whereas the Plex valves is an Australian solution. That's not a bad thing. I mean, I'm fine with buying that, but it makes it so I would have to order internationally and shipping is like 40, 50 bucks, whereas this is 130 bucks shipped to my door. I don't even think I paid that much for it. So that's why I went with this over anything else, mainly because of the rebound, rebound dampening characteristics. So... Basically what these do is they emulate a cartridge fork. This is basically, I guess, what you would consider the shim stack in a cartridge fork. With a dampening rod, there is no tunability. You get what you get, and there are ways you can do it. I mean, there are ways that you can tune dampening rods, I guess you could say, uh, like fork oil weight is one good way to control dampening properties and also drilling more holes, making the holes bigger, this and that. But ultimately, no matter how you modify the dampening rod, it's only going to follow a specific curve <clears throat> of its dampening capabilities. So this, you can see at the top, a better picture there you have bleed holes so basically what this does this is for specifically for compression dampening so when the forks are coming up like when you hit a bump a big bump or go off a jump or something so in here oh, let's see here so in here the oil flows through these three holes and you can see that little plate, the gold plate, which is actually this right here. 
So what happens when the oil flows through this way? Basically, this valve controls how much oil is going through when the forks are compressing. So you can tune this, basically, you can make it so this plate stays down harder by adjusting the tension on this spring. And when you order these, buy these, you get a little code that comes in the box. When you get the box, it's just this. It comes in a little baggie, the valves do, like this. You get different springs, different weights of springs with it, and different plates. In my case, I will actually need to be installing these. So when you get it, you get a little access code. And these are one-time use. I already used mine. And they come on the back of this card. And when you go online, go to Race Tech's website, you'll be able to enter some information. It's right on the beginning of their website, really easy to find. Go through some setup, tell them about your riding style, your weight, what you're gonna be using it for. And then it tells you if you can see right here, how to set it up. So you can see I need the 64 inch pound valving spring, which I have that on there. It says right underneath that it's the yellow spring color. And then I need three and a quarter turns of preload. So what that means for these is that I need to loosen this up so the spring is barely touching this washer that you can see on the top of the spring. Basically to the point of where it touches and then I need to go three and a quarter turns. <laughs> Let me bring back the screen quick. You can also see that I need the plate with the four bleed holes. So, you can see on here, I have two holes and two are not open. You can see two divots there. I'm assuming they're pre-tapped for being drilled. And I assume that's for if you need three bleed holes. But in my case, this kit comes with extra plates that I can just install. So that will give me my four bleed holes. And I mentioned before that Biker Bits video did not include drilling the dampening, dampening rods. And the reason why that's important is because you want to take with this device you want to take the dampening properties away from the dampening rod and basically hand it over to this because this will give much better control over the oil flowing through the fork, if that makes sense. So let's say this is going to be, when this is in the fork, this is going to be facing up. The spring and everything will be facing up. So when the oil flows through, basically, this assembly is going to control how much oil is flowing through, right? So, that's really the ultimate purpose of this. And you can see in there, I mean, there really isn't much to it. And this is, by the way, this is how it's all laid out. So you have your bolt, and then the spring goes on top, along with the washer. And then you have your plate with the bleed holes, and this is the four bleed hole plate. Then you have the top of the gold valve. 
and then the silver plate that goes underneath, the spring, the body of the valve itself, and then the nylock nut. So this is it as far as parts go. So if you're concerned about maybe making your forks too complicated or this being too much of a job, there, this is simple, and I'm very, very sure that this is not going to take away from reliability or make your next fork job that much harder. This is a fantastic invention, in my opinion, for the simplicity, but I have yet to test this. So, come spring when it starts to get warmer, I will give you guys a ride update and let you know. But I just wanted to go through this. Um, if you guys have any questions at all on this, please don't hesitate to ask. I've, I found it very hard to find like a lot of specific information that I wanted to know. And it was mainly, make sure this doesn't go away, mainly concerning the setup sheet here. And as you can see, once you input your rider weight, riding style, and stuff like that, it gives you all the information you need to know. So it says my spring rate is supposed to be 0 0.66 kilogram per millimeter. Spring preload, 6 millimeter. 140 millimeters of fork oil at 15 weight. And then over here gives you a little bit more. Well, it's about the same information as below. Oil level, again. And then it tells you how to set up the gold valve. So that's about it. But the reason I wanted to make this video and talk about it is to touch on the really, the main part of the gold valves that Biker Bits did not talk about with the DR650. If you're going to do this, you need, absolutely need, to drill out your dampening hole. I'm sorry, to drill out the holes on your dampening rod. Otherwise, you're basically just restricting flow to this device, I guess you could say. Because this is designed to work with those six holes. So just make sure you do that. I believe they're 5 16th inch too. And the reason I went with Race Tech over like the Cogent DDCs or something like that is mainly because of the tunability to my riding style and my weight. So I know the Cogent DDCs are probably pretty similar to this, and you don't have to do any drilling, but as far as I can tell, there's really no tunability as far as those go. I could be wrong. I don't really know much about them. I mean, I've researched them very thoroughly, but I couldn't really find anything on how to tune them for my riding style, my weight, this and that. So I figured I'd make this video explaining in depth kind of what these are all about. The only one, the only like solution that I would consider, I guess, close to this would be the plex valves. And those are a little bit more complex than this because those are basically a little cartridge that have a shim stack built inside of them that are valved specifically for you which is neat, and that's actually basically turning your dampening rod, or I'm sorry, your damper fork into a cartridge fork, which is nice. So, yeah, this kind of does the same thing as the Plex valve, but in a much more simpler fashion. And as far as the Cogent DDCs go, I'm not, I don't know if those have any tunability, but I just went with the race valve. I got a pretty good deal on this too. So 
that's kind of another reason I went with it. But thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps somebody out. Uh, like I said, any questions, just comment below. Thank you very much.